Well, good evening and welcome to Edge Force Time. This again is Jared the Stephen G O C Edge Force. Tonight is going to be a special night because the Lord has a special message to pass across to us, our women, the women of Edge Force. You know, is organizing an annual conference, International Women of Fire Conference, and it's coming up this weekend. And they are here to pass across and give you some information about this conference. So please don't go away. The women are ready to minister to us. I'll be right back. <laughs> Liberation Power Ministries, End Time Jesus Army, Edge Air Force present 2021 International Women on Fire Conference in three days of power. Team, the courageous woman, the Deborah generation. It's End Time, Friday 25th to Sunday 27th of June 2021. Friday by 5 p.m. and Saturday by 4 p.m. Sunday the time is 8 a.m. Special features include enjoying breakthrough through courage, overcoming the agencies of fear and tears, contacting and operating with a Deborah anointing for unstoppable breakthroughs and much more. Speakers, Ambassador, Reverend, Doctor, Scholar, Old Day Day, the International Women President, <laughs> and General Stephen Old Day Day, the GOC Edge of Force with other prophetic fire carriers. This is the most attended conference. You must not be told Jesus is Lord. Good evening viewers, you are welcome to this special TV program of Liberation Power Ministries, Edge of Us. By the grace of God, Liberation Power Ministries, End Time Jesus Army, Edge of Us is organizing the 2021 International Women on Fire Conference. We, we are here with our mama, Ambassador Reverend Dr. Scholar Udede the international president of the women's wing to throw some light concerning the forthcoming conference mama we are glad you are here you are welcome thank you so much and good evening viewers on my right is dickness gina a teacher a teacher by profession praise the lord next to her is pastor Ovie zidono proprietress hello lamb groups of school yeah. on my far ending i have dr mrs shina mercy a lecturer at river state university Praise the Lord. next to her i have dickness kate power a banker branch manager echo bank river state university Praise the Lord. hello viewers mama wood want to introduce to you the purpose of our gathering this evening and lead us in our interactive section. Mama, you're welcome. Good evening, viewers. We are the Women of Liberation Power Ministries. We are here to throw more light on our International Women on Fire Conference. This has been an annual program or annual event by the Women Wing of Liberation Power Ministries. And this year's theme is the courageous woman. I mean the Deborah generation. And I have great women in the house to speak and to throw more light on the theme for this year's conference. Now, I want to ask, what is this courage? What does it mean, courage? I will start from number one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Courage is the mental and moral ability to withstand threatening situation, is ability to be fearless, is ability to be dependent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Courageous to be means ready to confront or stand for something without fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Courage is an ingredient of faith. Courage is the ability to, to obey the word of God in the face of fearful and threatening circumstances. Courage is a virtue, it's an attribute to say no to limitations, to say no to fear and intimidations in our life. Praise the Lord. Courage to me is a forceful ability exhibited in face of threatening situation. It is a confident character, a virtue that is not intimidated or given to fear. That is the meaning of the word courage. Wow, great, great, great. Our great women have uh, defined it all, but I want to say that courage is that quality of mind that conquers fear. And there's no one that is born with courage. Courage is something that you develop. And if you fail to develop courage in life, you may be confined with the challenges of life. And hence, in this conference, God is calling us to a higher level of life of courage and risk taking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, having seen the de uh, definition of courage, can we throw more light on what a courageous woman does? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A courageous woman is a woman of wisdom. A courageous woman is a woman that perseveres, is a woman that ventures into activities without looking back, is a woman that encourages others positively, is a woman that uses the tongue wisely. Praise the Lord. And Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A courageous woman is a brave and fearless woman who is not afraid of anything. She's ready to confront in any situation. She finds herself. She makes sure her family is up and doing. She depends on God for everything. She seeks the face of God in everything she does. Her lifestyle is the praying lifestyle. She depends on prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. A courageous woman is a wonder. She meditates the word of God. A courageous woman give God all her worries. Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. A courageous woman is focused because she knows who she is in Christ Jesus. Second Peter 1, 9. We will see it there. A courageous woman is a virtuous woman. Praise the Lord. What a courageous woman does. A courageous woman is one that is very bold. It's not given to the spirit of fear. Life itself is filled of risk, but she faces it squarely as it comes. She shows determination to achieve good goals, and she sees positives instead of negativity. She's not there. She sees only the positive things, not the negative things, and she goes for it, and she gets it. Thank you. Well, uh, viewers, they have said it all, but a courageous woman, there is something that she does that differentiates her from an incourageous woman. This courageous woman is known for standing up for something. She stands up for righteousness. She will stand up for justice and equity. She will not stand for wickedness. She stands against uh, strife and disunity anywhere she found herself. So this is what she does that makes her a courageous woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. And having defined courage, and having said the things that a courageous woman is known for, or what she does. Now, how can we describe this woman, a courageous woman? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, a courageous woman will have known who she is. 
she's, she's ready and willing to seek God and to do the will of God. She's selfish. She's not selfish. She's a brave woman. She's a virtuous woman. She's a woman that knows that charm is vain. That beauty, charm is deceitful. That beauty is vain. She's the one that's ready to fear God. And she's the one that encourages others to fear the name of the Lord whenever it is mentioned and willing to do the will of God at all times. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A courageous woman is that outstanding woman. The woman that is ready to obey instructions from the Almighty God. The woman that is always there to seek the face of God every situation she finds herself. The woman that is fearless. She is always alert. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A courageous woman is a vision supporter. Our mama here is a courageous woman because she supports the vision of this ministry to the latter. We are all can attest to that fact. Praise the Lord. A courageous woman lives an exemplary life to her children. She is a positive influencer in her family. A courageous woman is honored. She is highly favored. A courageous woman is a vicious woman. A courageous woman will carry Jesus everywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We can describe this courageous woman as one that is always focused. She's industrious. She's not giving in to intimidation. Anything she sets her goal to do, she does that and makes sure she achieves it. So I say she's unmovable when it comes to God's mandate and one that encourages others to make sure that they go forward. Thank you. Wow, that's great. That's great. That's great. They have really described this courageous woman. And to add to what they have said, I want to say that a courageous woman is a woman of character and charisma. She's a woman of faith. She's a woman of industry. And she's a resourceful helper. And she's a determined woman that never be afraid of any challenges or circumstances in life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, having described the courageous woman, from the Bible point of view and in our own contemporary time, can we get some examples of courageous women in Bible times and in our contemporary times. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the Bible, we can recount the accounts of groups in the Bible. We knew all she did to ensure that wherever the mother in law goes is where she would go. Wherever she dies is where she would die. Even the accounts of Hannah, Hannah perseveres. She prayed and she seeks the face of God. And at the end of the day, she got her crown. Okonje Wala is also an example. No matter the influence from the international communities, she stood her ground. And at the end of the day, the crown was won by her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some example, some women in the Bible, like I can give you Jahel. She's a courageous woman because Cicera is a captain in the army. But she made him to, that he, he, he was sleeping because he came to ask for help from her. She gave him the cover to cover him. She gave him milk to drink. As he was sleeping, she used nail and hammer to thrust on his head and she killed him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Without the fear of her, this man is a strong man. He can wake up and destroy me. It took a, a, that courage for her to do that. Then Jochebed, the mother of Moses, giving back to a child, despite the order from Pharaoh. She still hit Moses, kept him, and to the glory of God, Moses was the one the Lord used to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. Hallelujah. Amen. Talking about in our system today, like my sister said, rightly said, our mama is a woman of courage. It takes courage to follow a man to build a ministry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is well. And I thank God for our mama, Mommy Edawosa, Margaret Edawosa. Mm -hmm. I give God the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have so many women of courage in the Bible. First, I will touch on Abigail. Abigail exhibited the qualities of a courageous woman. It took her courage to correct the foolishness and greed of her husband, Nabel. Because if she had not done that, the entire household would have been in trouble. I will again also speak on the Hebrew midwives, Shipra and Poa. It took them courage to preserve the firstborn sons of the Israelites. It took her courage to disobey the king then, to get that done. Again, Anna too was a strong woman of courage. If not for her courage, in the face of, of intimidations from Penina and her children, she would have been discouraged, but she continued in prayer. And at the end of the day, even the high priest Eli accused her of drunkenness. She didn't listen. She continued, and at the end of the day, she got what she wanted somewhere, which eventually became the high priest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In our contemporary world today, our mama sitting here is a strong example of a courageous woman. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is obvious. We cannot debate it. Again, another example of a courageous woman is Professor Dora Akuyele of Blessed Memory. She was a DG of Navdad. If not for her tenacity, in spite of threats to her life, physically they even did it. They shot her once, but they didn't get her. If not for her tenacity, fake drugs would have continued to ravage lives in Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the Bible, there are so many courageous women. Somebody like Sarah. She was so courageous, despite the marital challenges she had, she stood. And at the end of the day, God answered her. And we had another woman, the woman with the issue of blood. They had so many people crowding the Lord Jesus Christ at that time. But she looked at herself and she took courage in herself. She encouraged herself and went forward and touched the hem of his garment and she was automatically healed. We saw somebody like Mary Mandalene, despite her plenty sins, she took the courage to go to the face of the Lord and said no. He took her courage for her to stay and use her tears and wash the feet of the Lord, her hair, clean it, and use all her life savings, all the things she has gotten, to make sure that she also makes the kingdom of God. And I want to say that these women are courageous women in the Bible time, even in our present times. Just like one of us has mentioned, Dr. Dora, she did a lot, and she stood her ground, even when there were threats of life. She stood her ground and forced drugs were actually not in existence in her days. Thank you. Wow, wow. We have mentioned a lot of them, but we should not forget the little maid of Naaman's uh, wife. And we should also not forget the Deborah herself and also Jahel, and Naomi, and Ruth, very many of them. And in our own days, I direct this word, courage, to Obi Ezekwesin. She is one of the courageous women in our time. So God bless you for throwing more light on this topic. <laughs> Operation Power Ministries, End Time Jesus Army, Edge Air Force, present 2021 International Women on Fire Conference in three days of power. Team, the courageous woman, the Deborah generation. It's End Time, Friday 25th to Sunday 27th of June 2021. Friday by 5 p.m. and Saturday by 4 p.m. Sunday the time is 8 a.m. Special features include enjoying breakthrough through courage, overcoming the agencies of fear and tears, contacting and operating with a Deborah anointing for unstoppable breakthroughs and much more. Speakers, Ambassador, Reverend, Doctor, Scholar, Old Day Day, the International Women President, and General Stephen Old Day Day, the GOC 
edge of us with other prophetic fire carriers this is the most attend conference you must not be told jesus is lord the conference this year is full of goodies and expectations and we still want to give you some vital informations that will enable you to attend this conference uh, the great woman in the house will tell us when is this conference coming up praise the lord hallelujah the conference is coming up on 25th to 27th june 2021 on friday it's going to start from 5 p.m to 6 30. it is going to be wonderful it's a must attend program on saturday it is going to start from 4 p.m to 6 30. call and see the women on fire vibrating in the word of god praise the lord Amen. on sunday it is going to be wonderful please we are inviting you then on sunday the program starts 8 a.m come and be blessed in jesus name so you have heard the time and the date where is the venue praise the lord hallelujah this wonderful program will be taking place at liberation power ministries edge force number 82 elepra one road off at the george by four portal court when you are coming from mile three axis when you get to wimpy you get a vehicle from wimpy down to other george to uh, elepra one when you're coming from rumokoro area too you get to wimpy junction and you get a vehicle coming to a lepran one come and be blessed in jesus name amen who are the speakers for this conference praise the lord the speakers for this great gathering of women is our dynamic papa general stephen Odede, and our dynamic mama ambassador reverend dr mrs scholar Odede and other anointed women of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What are the spiritual and physical benefits that we are expecting to get during this conference? The benefits are uncountable. All we just need is just your presence. And God is going to do it again. There will be healing. There will be deliverances. There will be people that are looking for the fruit of the womb. Through this program, they will have encounter and they will have well, they will give back to their children. There are so many blessings. And every year, testimonies are bound. This year, the testimonies will increase. We, we plead with you that just show yourself and come and take that that belongs to you. Thank you. Wow, that's great. Who are those we are expecting in this conference? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody. Everybody deserves to enjoy the blessings of God. Let's go to our communities, our localities, our environment, where we live, where we do business, where we work, and invite them for this great conference so that that which we enjoy here shall also be extended to them. Everything is available for their enjoyment, physical, spiritual, like my deaconess have emphasized. It is available for them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow, that is wonderful. Uh, our great viewers tonight, you have heard about the time, the date and the time, the venue, the speakers, of which I want to say that we'll have a lead speaker in that conference, which is our daddy, the GOC, commanding EJA force will be the lead speaker and we are expecting both spiritual and physical blessings the blind will see the lame will walk barren women will receive their children those looking for job will get it those who are looking for admission will get it because the lord has spoken good concerning us hallelujah and we are inviting every caliber of persons both the rich both the poor both the middle class the highest class the lower class you are invited because god is god for all viewers i i must tell you that it is going to be a unique conference 
a conference that, that will meet you at the point of your needs. It is going to be fantastic. It is going to be extraordinary. It is going to be unique. And God is going to do his extraordinary work in the life of each participant. So you are welcome. We are expecting you. And as you come, you will never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. While women in the house, the time is not on our side. At this point, we want to draw the curtain close as we say goodbye. <laughs> Operation Power Ministries, End Time Jesus Army, Edge Force present 2021 International Women on Fire Conference in three days of power. Team, the Korean.